www.mymyspiritualcoach.com. My name is Nicole. In this channel, you will find everything you need to know to begin macrame, whether you are looking to do it as a hobby or you want to get to a more advanced level so that you can create your own designs, you will find everything macrame right here. So we are going to get a little crafty again today and we're going to make a heart wave pattern headband, the one that I'm currently wearing, using cotton cord and an elastic headband. I use the taupe color cord for everyday wear. This design is super versatile in that you can use the same design for baby headbands or if you use white color cord, you can turn it into a bridal headband as well. It is super easy to make. All you need to do is make the wave pattern using cotton cord and then sew it onto an elastic headband. If you prefer to glue it onto a sturdier tiara-like headband, you can do that as well. Many of you know I enjoy making different things using cotton cord and by macrame. If you too enjoy macrame and would like to advance your skill set quicker, make sure to check out my Patreon site for more exclusive content that includes step-by-step -step video tutorials as well as step-by-step ebooks. I've pasted a link to that in the video description below, so make sure to check that out. I hope you guys enjoyed this one as much as I did, and let's begin! Starting with one of the 300cm cords, we are going to fold that in half. And then we're going to take the 100cm cord, fold that one in half, and attach it onto the first cord using a lark's head knot. Then tape the top part down and we will start making a row of double half hitch knots. Using the left cord as the anchor cord, we're going to make a row of double half hitch knots. Then taking the left cord here, we will make one double half hitch knot with the next cord. Then taking the anchor cord and the working cord we just used, use both as the anchor cord for another double half hitch knot with the next cord. 
gathering both cords together as the anchor cord. The anchor cords here should be the shorter cords. Then make one more double half hitch knot with the last cord on the right. Then taking that second 300 centimeter cord, we are going to attach it onto that anchor cord using a lark's head knot. You should now have the four cords on the left and then the two anchor cords on the right. Starting with the right cord in the left section, we are going to make a row of double half hitch knots to the left. Once you're done that row, fold that anchor cord downwards and start making another row of double half hitch knots. Stopping after the second working cord. Then folding the anchor cord upwards, we will make another two double half hitch knots. The first double half hitch knot here got cut off, but all you need to do is fold the anchor cord back up and make two more double half hitch knots with the two working cords. Mm -hmm. Then taking the anchor cord, we will fold it back down and make three double half hitch knots, forming a heart shape. Then taking the anchor cord that you just used, we will use that as a working cord to make one double half hitch knot onto the bigger anchor cord on the side. Then taking the next few cords one at a time, we will attach them onto the bigger anchor cord using a double half hitch knot.
Now starting on the right side again, we will make a mirror image of what we just made, forming a wave pattern. Then starting on the left side again, we will make three more heart sections. Once you have made five sections, we will now close off this one end. Taking the top right cord, we will make a row of double half hitch knots. Then again, starting from the right side, we will make another row of double half hitch knots. After every double half hitch knot, we're going to take that working cord and gather it together as the anchor cord for the next double half hitch knot, ensuring that at the end, we will only have a group of anchor cords in the middle.
Taking that last working cord, we're going to make one more half hitch knot. To make the end extra secure, we're going to take the working cord, split it in half, and make a double overhand knot. Now we will cut off the excess cord close to the end of the pattern. Now taking an elastic headband or a headband of your choice, I chose to use a 16 inch headband unstretched and I am going to attach my heart wave pattern onto the headband by sewing it on. You can use whatever color thread you'd like because I'm using a black headband, I would normally use black thread to sew it on so that you can't see the thread in the headband, but because it is hard to see while filming the video, I have decided to use a purple colored thread so that you can see where I am sewing. Starting from one end, we are going to sew it through bottom up four times, two on each end and then two somewhere in between.
You have now completed your macrame headband. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you guys next time.